I love to bake with my kids. It's a favorite pastime of mine. Growing up in Maine, outdoor activities have been a big part of my life and my childhood. I got into mechanics because I always did like to tinker a little bit here and there. We have three kids. Matthias, Mayan, Penzi. My stroke was surgically induced because I had a brain tumor. The doctor told me there was a 99% chance I would stroke on the table. I wasn't able to do anything with my hand. My hand was like this all the time. There's nothing you can do with your hand. My arm itself would not move. When I had the stroke at first, I couldn't, I, I couldn't do a lot of things for myself. Basically with me, that was an aggravation because I'm so used to doing things myself. I was working, cutting down trees. I just happened to have a dead pine tree fall down, catch me on the shoulder, knocked me out, paralyzed my arm. Jeremy was 32 years old. Healthy. Totally healthy. I remember when Jeremy first started having just a few words and he told me what happened since I wasn't there. You want to tell the story? Chopping wood. Water. Oh, feel funny. Sit down. Stroke. Can't feel. It was a severe stroke. Yeah. I discovered Myopro, and I discovered that I can move my arm, that I can open my hand again. And I think people take it for granted every day, and they don't know how it feels to not have that option. With the Myopro, I've been able to be a lot more independent. Before, I'd have to ask for help just to tie the simple knots that it takes. And now with the Myopro, I get back into it, and I'm really you know, enjoying the activities that I like to do. I wear it every day. It has brought me to a level where, I, let's say about a year ago, I wasn't at. I can definitely say that my pro has given me my independence back. The biggest thing is, you know, carrying our children and yeah. lifting them up. And that's another huge thing is you can do that with Matias now. And Matias is just at the right weight where you can lift him up and hold him and carry him a little bit. And that, that wouldn't have happened yeah. without, without the arm. My daughter, she has a dream of one day owning her own bakery. It's going to be called Brooklyn's Cupcakes. I'm like, if you want this dream to come true, we're going to make it come true. It gave me hope where there wasn't really much hope. Being told for four years there wasn't much I could do, and you know, I kind of had to just deal with it. And then to have you know, a company that was out there that was able to help really just gave me hope. I can now squeeze a clutch on a motorcycle. And that's my goal, to be able to get back on my bike and go for a ride. That's been my whole goal, to be able to squeeze that clutch and turn that throttle and let it go, and me go. <laughs> now, this has been a big hope, and it's been really uplifting, even for our children in the house, seeing Daddy yeah. doing something, you know, like yes. Daddy's like RoboCop, you know? And <laughs> Mayomo has the potential to address the many cases of upper extremity paralysis present in the U.S., as well as new paralysis cases each year. I would definitely say the Myopro is the way to go. Hey, I would encourage them more and more every day. I encourage people to do their research and look into the Mayo Pro. Have hope, you know, have, have courage because this does help. Partner with Myomo today and you too can help many of those affected worldwide with hand and arm paralysis regain greater freedom, movement, and independence.